Welcome back. You're tuned to the Mike Cool Inventions Network. And this is a segment we call Selling Secrets, where we give you some insight into the industry, teach you stuff and secrets how to sell your product more and better. Right. And I'm going to tell you something, which is really, really it was sort of shocking. Last week or a couple weeks ago, um, one of the places where we sold stuff, right? Inventors would go to, entrepreneurs would go to. There was this big organization, Andrew, called the Electronic Retailing Association. Okay. We called them ERA. And they held these conventions all around. The big convention was in Las Vegas, this huge ERA conference in Las Vegas, where all the marketers, people who had made infomercials and TV commercials, they all gathered. And this is the place where we used to take our products, we used to find an infomercial company, or maybe if we had an infomercial, we used to show it to all the international community. And you know something, this is where the awards were granted. You know, I've got those two awards on my mantle right, for being right. best demonstrating presenter uh, in, in live shopping for a couple of years. And this organization was decades old, They're really an old organization, it goes back to the roots. They even own the website called retailing.org, if you can imagine. Wow. And all of a sudden, they announced they're closed. Done. Wow. They shut the door. Boom. No explanation, no nothing, just turned it off. Wow. I mean, can you imagine? I mean, it's a trade show that we all love, that we all went to. I mean, what do you th- what do you think? I know you're I know you're 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 a musician and you're you know kind of looking at it from the outside. We get too we're like the forest from the trees. You know, right. we get too into it. Electronic retailing organization was our was our was our was our, was our gig was our was our well, was our foundation was, was our you know maybe on TV it's getting a little old. Maybe something needs to move forward. Maybe it was like. Uh, you know, you gotta adapt to the times. You gotta see what's going on. Maybe they're maybe they're stuck still in the TV retail kind of thing, or I don't know. Like, so, so you, that's a good point you bring up because no. television retail. I mean, people are looking at TV differently. But, but you know, you know, you know. I, I don't know. How do you watch TV? How do you watch TV at home? I barely watch like a cable. I'm on internet TV all the time. So internet TV, like what kind of internet TV? Well, you know, I have Apple TV. You watch Netflix or whatever. You know, you know. So, so you don't turn on channel nine or channel eleven. You go, you hit your Apple TV, hit the internet, and yeah, and I have NBA.com, and I'm watching the NBA, every NBA game. You know. So, so that's an interesting point because TV viewing habits are changing like crazy. So, what Andrew's suggesting that the TV viewing habits change so fast. That maybe the organization that was doing television commercials for television didn't change fast enough to catch up to it. That's right. Yeah, that's right. I, I got to tell you a funny story because you know the players. Okay. So my son Peter, his nephew, right. uh, and my daughter uh, Christina, who is niece, right? right? What happens is they come visit me simultaneously. They're never down here ever at the same time, right? They, okay. they came down one time a couple of years ago, and they were here at the same time, right? And so what happens is they walk up to my television in the living room there, and they start pointing at a box, and they're laughing out loud. Peter goes, hey, Christina, come over here, come over here. Look, look, look what dad's got, look what dad's got. He goes, look, look, he goes, Christina goes, what is that? And, that, and Peter goes, it's a, it's a cable box. I think it's a cable box, I'm not sure. I haven't seen one for years. I mean, it's been so long since I've seen one, I'm not sure that e- what that even is. Is that a cable box? I go, yeah, and they all started laughing at me. I bet your dad watches Blue Bloods. I bet you he records Blue Bloods on CBS, <laughs> right? And then, and then he records it so when he wants to, he can watch it. And I went, Shut the front door. That's exactly what I do. <laughs> That's my thing. He, they all laughed. Ha, ha, ha. And then I had an Apple TV box on top. And I didn't realize you can go to the Apple TV, hit the CBS app. Yeah, there you go. And watch you Blue Bloods whenever, you want. whenever I want to. <laughs> I didn't know that. I go, you know, that's I was kind of an old dinosaur too, you know. Yeah, that's what like, happens. Like, like, and I think, I think what happens is the television. Are you guys watching TV? If you're on Facebook, comment right now. How do you watch your TV? Is it is it is it on Apple TV? Is it on a Roku TV? Is it on cable? Is it on Direct TV satellite? Tell me. Ask ask me uh, what's going on there. Uh, I think I think. Uh, we need to find out just exactly what's going on. So, 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 tell me how you watch TV. Is yeah. it broadcast television? Let me tell. Let me tell you something about. You said something about your sports. See, I like broadcast television because I can watch the Rays. Okay. I can watch the Lightning live. Sports is still live on broadcast television. Well, I watch it live too. How? Same thing. You go Get on out. to. Well, listen. In Dubai, let's put it this way: they're not all watching the Tampa Bay Rays play what? baseball. No, they don't know anything about baseball. And, or hockey <laughs> or any of that kind of stuff. And basketball, maybe. They might be on, or NFL football might be on. But to be honest with you, I subscribe to these, these dot-coms, 
and I can watch live if I want, or if I'm sleepy because in Dubai it's on at four in the morning if it's live. All right. Then I'll watch it in the next morning. Really? Because it's recorded. What do you mean? And they even have condensed versions. And what? If I, for example, Skip. I want to check out what the Blue Jays did and somewhere else, and you know, and then compare what the Rays did, I can go back and check out the condensed film and condensed version. Condensed version. I would love to see baseball condensed. You know what else would be good? Condensed golf. <laughs> I think I could watch a whole yeah, golf not, tournament not in thirty big, seconds. Yeah, I'm not a big. Okay, golf, oh, oh, golf hold one. Oh, that's a good shot. Oh, bad shot, bad shot, bad shot. Boring shot, boring shot, boring shot. Oh, look, hold one. I mean, that would be really good condensed. So, right. what happens? It goes faster. What happens in the condensed version? No, no, they just cut out the commercials and stuff. They'll show you the highlights. Has, no, well, more than highlights. So it's like a thirty. It's more like a thirty-minute, for example, game. Football would be a good thing to watch yeah, condensed NFL's too. Done that way. What are the only? I think I, I'm going to offend Al, our producer. In football, what do they only play? Like six minutes of sports, right? The rest of it's all <laughs> just whatever they hanging around, calling plays or whatever, right? Right, Al? It's only really like six minutes of running, right? Isn't it <laughs> or something condensed? So, so, so people are watching internet television, and I think what happened in the ERA case is that it came fast. Like we all said, okay, yeah. maybe not in our generation, maybe in our kids' generation, that's going to be the new one. But the ERA, the Electronic Retailing Association, the Direct to Consumer Convention, these guys were, you know, when I went there, I found media buyers, and I knew, I know they knew they had to switch to the digital platforms faster. But what do you sell on the digital platforms? I mean, when you're watching all this stuff from Dubai, do you see any commercials at all? Yes. Where? You see, just just the uh, normal. See. They're using the normal commercials, what they would put. Now, sometimes they don't pay for the rights of the commercials, so therefore they'll put highlights of, like, for example, I was watching baseball, then they put highlights of past games and years of yesteryears. And, very inter- and that's what they do. So there's no... There's, but nobody's utilizing that space. So the commercial the break is commercial. there, but if the guy, the Gillette, hasn't paid for the Dubai market, they That's show right. some highlights. That's, That's interesting. Right. So another thing I want to teach you, my son did this. My son's actually an analyst for a really, really big digital advertising agency. They handle American Express and big, big Fortune 500 firms like that. And he came to me, and he says, um, he said that I want, to, I want you to do 20-second commercials, these pre-rolls, right? Mm. And you see these on YouTube, right? You know that video that you ever, you know, you're watching a YouTube video that video in the front yeah that's called a pre-roll and he says dad I want you to uh, I want you to do a 20 second pre-roll and then drive them to a website that's the new media that's the selling secret so video yeah. content is everything listen nothing's changed actually my son said it best nothing's changed we're still watching stuff and we're still buying stuff but where we're watching is changed. Right. We're not watching the boob tube anymore. What do we used to call it? The boob tube? Yeah. With the clicker, right? Right, clicker. <laughs> I used to play as a clicker. But, it, but what's, what's changed is we're watching this thing. We're watching our tablets. We are watching the big screen too, but we're not watching as much broadcast television. We're watching digital. This program, for example, this, this, this program, for example, is on Roku TV on Inventions and Gadgets channel. If you have a Roku TV and Amazon Fire and Android TV and soon the Apple TV, and soon Samsung Smart TVs, you can go to the Inventions and Gadgets channel and see this program. Even we're doing that. And Facebook, Facebook's another one, right? Yeah. Facebook Live is a new... Absolutely. Are these the new channels, do you think, Andrew? What do you so, think? I think so. Facebook Live? Even YouTube Even YouTube is a TV channel. How, what are you talking it's about? It's like YouTube I, it's TV. It's like just videos up no, there. No, no, now it's changing. It's moving forward and moving that way into television as well. So, so... So these are the new channels. It's not ABC, NBC, CBS. It's going to be Facebook, YouTube, and hopefully, you know, people are jumping on board the Netflix and that sort of thing. Yeah. Hey, I say, I see. Uh, speaking of video content, a famous video producer of ours, good friend David Carrera from Japan, wow. is commenting on the Michael Gadget Street. He says, <laughs> you said, Hello, <laughs> <"Kinichiwa."> <He's, laughs> "So video content, but video content's king." Let me tell you something. We're going to do a webinar next week uh, for inventors and entrepreneurs. Entrepreneurs, we privately invite them to the webinar, and we're going to talk about video content because video content's everything, right? All these Facebook pages and these pre rolls and these commercials—it's all about high quality video. Video is king. Even on Facebook, they say a picture on Facebook gets one tenth the attention of a small video does. Maybe right. my my son is right. You got to do twenty second videos. Absolutely. You know, Peter came in and saw the studio in here, right? Right. And he says, "Dad, stop writing thirty minute commercials. Dad, stop writing two minute commercials." And his wife. Uh, 
Megan is also in the advertising business, okay. but she's on the selling side, and my son is on the 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 the, 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 analyzing. the analyzing side. So it's the front office, back office type deal. And they both sat me down and said, "Dad, you got to do twenty second pre roll." So the selling secret, guys, is you got to get a video of your invention, a video of your shop, a video of your store, maybe in a twenty second sequence that drives them to a landing page. It drives them to a web page where you can do your serious selling, right? Right. So tease them. We do something called Banana Man. I mean, I don't know if you watch our commercials. Yep. The Banana Man's kind of that. That was my first uh, jaunt into sort of a viral type of a video that goes cute enough that you might follow, right? Right. So we did a Banana Man thing for Stains Are Out. We did a little short video. And, of course, the, the, the objective there is to drive you to a website so you can buy Stains Are Out. Mm-hmm. And then, speak, speaking of Stains Are Out, how long have you and I been selling Stains Are Out? Oh, a long time. <laughs> I still remember going to the source way back, and it was just a one man guy. One man, and we was the bottle. Like, hey. Remember bottling it in the dad's garage? Yeah, then we had to bottle it. Oh yeah. I came. I came home one day and I said, "Dad, we got an order." Well, who the stains are? He goes, "Yeah, yeah, yeah, yeah." Oh great, HSN is going to buy some. Oh, yeah. I go, "Great, it's oh, only yeah. five thousand bottles." <laughs> We were up all night. We hand bottled 5,000 bottles. And by the way, hand bottled. My dad rigged up a funnel and the thing. And oh, we, siphoning it out of the. We had to start the siphon, <laughs> put it in my mouth, and then, and then okay, what, okay, okay, get it going. That was unbelievable. So if you're an inventor out there and you don't think, you know, like Sheldon there making them in his garage, yeah, our first invention we made in our garage in too. The garage, yeah. 5,000 bottles. And uh, we got a reorder for like 20,000 bottles, but at that point we took it to a bottler. I couldn't do it to, <laughs> yeah, I couldn't do it to my father. <laughs> there's some but there's some selling secrets. There's some selling secrets for you. Video content. We're going to talk a lot more about video content in the future. Little pre-rolls, driving to a web page to do your serious selling, because maybe people aren't watching TV as much anymore. Well, there's your selling secret. Go sell, sell, sell. Get selling.